Hey, what's up guys? Slick here from the WGN Xbox YouTube channel. I'm bringing you a guide on how to complete the Scourge of the Past Triumph 6 of a Kind. This triumph requires you to complete the Vault Access Encounter using a Drake to defeat 6 servers. Doesn't sound that hard in words, but in practice it's a little bit difficult. So before I begin, I'm going to operate under the assumption that if you're watching this video, you already know how to complete the encounter in the normal way. If you don't, you're probably going to go do that first, and then you can come back to this video. So before the encounter begins, you have to divide your team up into two as you normally would. One team starts on top, that's team uh, two in our case. The other team goes down bottom, and we're going to call that team one. You also have to assign numbers to the players on each team, so you have a person one, two, and three on each team. As far as loadout goes, as you've probably seen it already in the video, I suggest using hard light. Shanks get a little hectic as the encounter goes on because of all the moving parts, and hard light just makes it easy to match up your shields and take care of the shanks. So the general operating principle for this triumph is to always have a tank on the field as soon as you get that first round of 2x bucks. You keep Sandy in mind throughout the video and when you run the triumph with your team, you're going to be successful even if things stray a little bit from the perfect run. So starting out the encounters like normal is very seems we've gotten into it already. Team 1 goes down on the bottom, they grab their stack, team 2 up top, they just kill the server with regular guns just like normal, uh, get the double 2 times stack after the server is dead, kill the server again. And then team one on the bottom comes up top and gets ready for the tank phase. And you see we're killing the servitor right here. And we're going to let the bottom team, team one, up from the bottom. Now this is the point in the triumph where things change from the normal way of running it. The team swap, so that will put team two on the bottom to collect phase radiance. And team one will now go up top and then we'll start the tank phase. The trick to this encounter, as I said earlier, is staggering your tanks. I'm going to put on screen right now the general formula for how the tanks should be spawned in, the order in which they get spawned in, and what each tank's responsibility to do according to which person you are in the order 1, 2, or 3. Person 1 will always be just a DPS tank. The goal is for them to do about 25% damage. Whichever damage they don't get, the rest of people on their team can clean it up. You have to do about 25% damage per cycle to make this uh, as easy and efficient as possible. Person 2. Person 2 activates their tank and kills a servitor once everybody on the bottom has gotten their first stack of phase radiance. The servitor will spawn as soon as the first person punches a phase generator. So all you have to do is wait, wait for that callout saying, okay, I punched my first radiance. The server is going to spawn in. That person, person 2 up top can then go migrate over, get their tank, and get ready to kill the servitor once everybody on the bottom has their stack. Person 3 does the same thing except with the second server in a cycle. Once everybody has their two stack, person three can then kill that servitor. This is what makes up a cycle, and this is the general pattern for the entire triumph. You have your team up top, staggers their tanks in accordance to how the team on the bottom picks up their radiances. Like I said earlier, it's very important that you focus on that 25% damage mark. Once you drop the boss 20, every 25% chunk of health, that resets the white mechanic. Uh, if you lose the powder once, you should be okay. As far as the white goes, usually, but usually you're not going to want to ta uh, toggle with more than you know, two cycles needed to drop in below 25% health. Uh, that'll give you a little bit hairy and you, you might end up encountering the wipe mechanic. So here you see uh, me being on team two, ready to head up after they kill that last servitor with the person three's tank. And I'm going to head up as person one and start the DPS and just go ahead and grab a tank. Now this phase shows a little bit about the, the importance of having good teamwork uh, because a server spawns right pretty quickly. And I actually have to wait a little bit for one of the tanks to despawn before I can actually grab my tank because that's how quickly we were running this, this phase here. And it's not a problem for completing the Triumph, uh, but it does require you to be a little bit more coordinated. So I'm able to do less DPS because my tank's going to get lit up by the servitor, uh, which means that I have to rely on person 2 and person 3 on my team to help carry the load for the DPS. So, um, like I said, I don't get a whole lot of damage done, uh, but as soon as my tank's dead, I'm, I'm going to play my life, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let my teammate pass me on the right, that's person two. First of all, he's going to take care of the servitor. That's the top priority is killing the servitor. And then he's just going to work on the DPS. And that way, you know, you, it doesn't take 30 seconds to kill a servitor. It only takes about five, maybe. And uh, he'll still be able to clean up the DPS without any problem. And it gets down that next 25% to uh, half, of, half of the boss's health. And of course, he's going to finish up with his tank. And then my final teammate, uh, teammate number three on team two, is going to kill the final servitor, and then we're going to swap rules again. So if you're keeping track, so far we have killed four servitors. That means the team one's going to come up again, do the same pattern until they've killed the sixth servitor. Keep in mind that you have to kill the sixth server before you kill the boss, uh, but don't sweat DPS too much on this phase because team two now on the bottom is going to have a two stack once you kill the sixth servitor, and they can just come up and clean up DPS. And I will show that uh, right here at the end of this clip. And 
like I said, this final phase is not hard. It's basically, once you get through the first two phases, uh, that you're, you're, you're kind of home free. Um, the one other thing I will mention is that our run did not go perfectly as planned. So if you're doing this triumph, you're probably going to have to be capable of improv improvising and adapting. Uh, to, you know, if someone dies on the bottom, uh, they're just going to have to fall back to the next team. You know, if, if you only have a one stack, just wait. Go another cycle and, and grab a two stack, then come and get your tank and take the next order in the DPS pattern. So guys, you just see me get there unlocking the six of a kind triumph. We completed it, and hopefully with the help of this guide, you guys will be able to complete it too. There is one other Scourge of the Past Triumph uh, that you might see as I'm going through tapping through the page to actually unlock the Triumph. Uh, it's called Gone Hunting, and it just involves the first encounter of this raid. So if you're interested in completing that Triumph, I have a video up on my channel as well. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me in this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.